So this is my second update of my healing or non-healing journey. It's been 21 days and during these days I have applied microvibrational therapy which is sound therapy. So I've been using the Vitaphone in the mornings for a session in the morning and a session in the evening. I have uh, my schedule and uh, I've stuck to it. I've done it every day, haven't missed a single time. And let me tell you about the experience. I am going to give it three months to see if there is a change because they say that it, if it works then uh, regrowing cartilage usually takes a long time so I wasn't really expecting any real change to have occurred after 21 days but there have been things after let's see here after four days I know after six days yes after six days I started to feel pain during the sessions so as the sound was going into my hip I would feel more pain in the hip and uh, they say that this is normal that this can happen but after about 10 days you shouldn't be feeling any more pain and it's true uh, this is exactly what happened after uh, 10 days on day 11 I had no more pain during the, the sessions and in general I feel better I feel that I can walk much further and I feel that it doesn't get as bad as quickly before uh, sometimes I would have I could walk maybe a hundred meters and after that I would be in pain and I knew that I would be in pain until the evening at least and now even though I, I still experience pain in every step it's as though uh, there's a veil on it and so it's not as strong and it doesn't stay for as long but it's a very small incremental improvement and it's not anything that I would say oh definitely this is getting better uh, because of the microvibrational uh, therapy it could be other factors that I'm not quite aware of but if anything there is a positive trend definitely also I uh, started after a couple of days I also started to um, apply microvibrations to my other hip because I have pain in one but looking at the x-rays you can see that the uh, uh, the problem that I have in the right hip has already started in the left hip I just don't feel any pain yet and so it was very interesting to see that after a couple of days after I was already doing the procedure on my right hip I started doing it on my left hip and the same thing happened again after about six days of applying it to my left hip I actually started to feel a little bit of pain in my left hip I have never felt any pain in my left hip but for the first time I would sometimes feel but it, it's just so fleeting that you might almost miss it and then again 10 days into the treatment on my left hip no more pain no pain during the sessions and no pain throughout my day in my uh, in my left hip so I thought that was really interesting because it seems to show that either I program myself well to feel pain uh, because I believe that this is when I will feel pain and so I do 
or this is actually impacting something. It is actually doing something in my body. And I think it is. I think it is. So it will be very interesting to see how this continues. Now I'm going to take a week off from microvibrational therapy and then I will do 21 days again and then a week off and then 21 days again and at that time I should be arriving at my three month mark and then really be able to say if there is a significant improvement. Let's see about that. I also wanted to share a couple of exercises that have really helped me. These are not things that cure my hip, but they are things that make me feel so much better when the pain is uh, too strong. So, first thing is heat. Uh, just a water bottle, a hot water bottle can help, a hot shower or hot bath can really um, improve the state because uh, it can uh, produce more uh, synovial fluid and so if, if, you, if you don't have any cartilage but have a lot of fluid that, that will kind of soothe the movements so you won't feel as much pain. And so heat is actually very good and extremely useful in my case. And another thing is an exercise, a type of movement that does not create an impact where you have the femur bone going up against the joint. Instead, uh, you create a movement. So you're moving the joint in a way that stimulates the synovial fluid. And sometimes there have been moments when this exercise was almost like magic. I would lay down and do it. Five minutes pass and then I walk and it's like I have a new hip. It doesn't last for very long, um, but it definitely improves. And um, especially when it's really painful and for some reason you have to walk somewhere. Uh, this can be um, a good thing. Okay guys, so this is it. This is the exercise I do to make my hip feel a little bit better, to stimulate the synovial fluid so that I can walk with less pain. What I do is I try to make my right leg a little bit longer and my left leg a little bit shorter. This is created by the movement in my hip. And then I do the opposite. The right leg goes up and the left leg goes down. And it's a little bit like walking. One goes up, the other one goes down. I do about 10 repetitions of this, at least. After that comes the next part. And this is the twisting part. So I twist my right leg inwards as the leg becomes longer. And then I twist it outwards as it becomes shorter. So inwards as it becomes longer, outwards as it becomes shorter. Then after about 10 repetitions of these, I do the other way around. So as the leg becomes longer, I twist it out and then I twist it in. So rotating out as the leg becomes longer and rotating in as it becomes shorter. And again, about 10 repetitions of this as well. I hope that this can be helpful to someone maybe going through something similar and looking into alternative treatments, then maybe this story can shed some light on how microvibrations can work or not work.